I graduated from high school and was just like generally unhappy for a really long time and I like couldn't figure out why. And I literally woke up one day and was like, oh my God, I'm gay. <laughs> Dating a girl was sort of just like an out of reach thing for me until I started talking to Christina. I met her on Tumblr. We would Skype for like 12 hours. We didn't really get to see each other physically until like four or five months in. I knew I had something good when I found it. So I saved up some money and bought a ticket to go see her. We were both what we needed at the time. That was a really formative year for myself, personally, because I'd gotten really, really sick, and I spent all of January in Louisiana with her, and she just like took care of me the entire time. To have somebody taking care of you when you're at your most like vulnerable self, it's like invaluable. We'd been feeling sort of distant from each other, and one day she just called me and was like, we need to talk. She was just talking about how she was so nervous about, you know, being young and being tied down. And I was like, okay, well, can I come see you? And flew to New Orleans the next day. And we broke up. <laughs> like, that was the end of the story. The first conversation, you're like, oh, we'll still talk to each other. It's still, it's still okay. You'll still be in my life. It doesn't pan out like that. After I left, I was sad, but I didn't know how to express my feelings. I just sort of let them marinate. I ate a lot of chicken wings and listened to a lot of Beach House. We talked like normal for the longest time. We talked like we we're still very involved with each other's lives. And you can't do that when you break up with someone. You can't go straight from being in a serious relationship to best friends. I had to have a talk where I was like, hey, you <laughs> need to chill. Now we're okay. Now we've gone our separate ways. I wouldn't change anything because if I changed anything, then I wouldn't have learned what I learned. It's like the best way to learn about yourself is to be with somebody else. Don't be afraid to... <laughs> Don't be afraid to fall in love. That's really cliche, but it's true.